What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Mount Mograph in Summit 49, the five minute or less lower third template. I got some requests for lower thirds, and I'm going to show you just how easy and effortless it is to go and make these in After Effects literally minutes. So, with all that very fancy animation you're seeing, this is going to take no time at all. So, we're just going to go and jump into After Effects. I got the CC 2014, but this will obviously work for anything. Create a new composition, whatever you want. I'm going to go with the 1920 by 1080 here and maybe make my uh, work area just a little bit smaller uh, let's go ahead and just draw some rectangles because that's a great start so this is going to be the top of our bar we're, we're going to put like our header of our content and I'm just going to center that anchor point duplicate this layer drag it down and uh, make this just a little bit bigger so this is going to be for our nice fresh uh, bold text beneath it and let's go ahead and make this just a different color to give us some nice contrast. So we'll go with this uh, kind of orangey look. Um, that looks super nice. And let's go and just add one more little element here, like a little call out uh, tab down at the bottom. So I'm just going to go and draw with my pen tool something that looks just very nice and I can't believe it but it kind of lined up and I'm gonna drag that below everything so we got our first layer which is our blue we got our second layer which is our orange box and then we got our bottom one which is our little call out tab so now what we're gonna do here is we have this wonderful uh, design I'm just gonna go and move all my anchor points up to the top of these layers so they all just jumped up over there. Now what I can do is parent my callout tab to my orange box, my orange box to my blue box. I'm gonna go ahead to about two seconds on the timeline, press S for scale and set a keyframe. Go back in time just a little bit and unclick all my constrained proportions and set all of these uh, to zero. So I probably should have selected everything at once but since we have those parented, they're all going to affect each other just like that. So we got some nice movement. If you go and select these keyframes and press F9, it'll be easy ease. I'm going to use this little tool down here um, and that'll just give it a little bit different motion. But there we go. We have a nice little pop. Let's grab these keyframes and stagger them. So hold alt and just click over with your arrow once or twice. And uh, we'll also do the same down there just so they're staggered a little bit. And there we go. We got a nice little build on. It looks so nice. So let's go and add our text. So uh, just command T for your your text tool and uh, I might have to make this text smaller um, here so we got some nice Helvetica of course for a nice fresh look and I'm gonna go and make this a light text so we get some nice contrast and really make this kind of tiny because that seems to be the trend so we'll give it a little bit of tracking maybe just 10 will be good and I'm gonna call this super boss um, I don't know why it's the first thing I thought of um, and so now we got our super boss text treatment right here I'm gonna duplicate this layer command D and just drag it down into our orange area and what I'm gonna do is just pick the blue color so we get Ooh, that was a bad color let's go with something else so I guess we're gonna go with um, black maybe not the best look but we're not gonna worry about it I'm gonna go and make this bold because that is once again uh, one of the things you will see with these kind of treatments uh, and we'll make this just a little bit bigger and maybe turn the tracking down and put something that sounds just awesome so maybe fresh plus plus uh, that seems like something you would see around town uh, so we'll just go move Move that and center it up there we go we got our super boss fresh <laughs> uh, whatever the heck this is supposed to be let's grab our blue and orange uh, layers here our boxes and just command D to duplicate them drag them up to the top and put the blue box above super fresh your orange box above fresh plus and then we're gonna grab both our super boss layer um, and our fresh plus plus layer go to your track mat and set it to alpha mat and now all of a sudden We're gonna have this super great animation. So now it's gonna wipe on super easy Let's grab our two text boxes press P for position and we're gonna go forward um, just to when everything is still drawing on um, or scaling up what we're gonna do is set a keyframe on position go back in time and just move this down on your y-axis and then once again add your easy ease just a nice little snap into position and then just stagger the fresh layer so hold alt and right click once or twice and uh, there we go we got our nice little draw on so nice looking so there we go that is your little quick call out tab and now what you can do so now that we built it super quick what we can do is duplicate the blue and orange layers and just drag these down to the bottom and since we want to make this look super complex let's go and change our colors here uh, I'm gonna just go to any color in the world looks like I'm gonna go to a kind of tangerine color 
and on my orange layer, I'm gonna go to a kind of uh, purple layer, it would seem. Grab both these layers and uh, hold uh, Alt on your keyboard, and what we're gonna do is press page up a couple times to move these backwards in time. So now we're gonna have staggered colors, and we did such a nice animation. My teal, or my orange layer is just kinda getting hidden. So I'm gonna make this into uh, super black because uh, I now have the worst color scheme of all time. So now we got this really complex looking animation. Let's go ahead and save some time and be lazy. So grab all your layers here and do shift command C to pre-compose them. What we're gonna do is call this uh, fresh, I guess. Fresh plus plus minus plus. I don't know, you can uh, name it whatever you want. We're gonna go ahead and just clip this layer. So just cut it with a alt forward bracket and duplicate the layer, right click your layer, go to time, time reverse layer. Now it's reversed, we're just gonna move it to the end. So now in no time at all, we're gonna get a nice little build up and we're gonna get a nice build out. So there you go, you got your five minute or less lower third template. Um, you can also just parent this to your other layer. So then when you want to, you can just grab one layer and move this around wherever the heck you want and scale it up, make this huge to show off your amazing design and tell people that it took you hours and hours of hard work. So there you go, in no time at all, you can create these lower thirds and uh, yeah, make your stuff look super fresh and modern. So make sure to use Helvetica as much as possible. So that was it for today. I'll uh, let, well, yeah, I guess let me know if you like these quick little videos. I know they're kind of basic, but um, yeah, that's about it. Get your learn on, peace out.